How's your foot, ankle, or big toes? Feeling a pain that you just want to melt away and be free of pain? Gout is a type of inflammatory arthritis caused by the accumulation of uric acid crystals in the joints. Understanding these causes is crucial for managing and preventing conditions like gout, which result from the crystallization of uric acid in joints and tissues. Lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and sometimes medication are often necessary to control uric acid levels and prevent associated health complications. Gout can significantly impact individuals both physically and emotionally. Here's how it affects you. Acute pain, gout typically manifests as sudden and severe pain, often in the joint of the big toe. The pain can be excruciating, making it difficult to walk or even stand. Swelling and inflammation, affected joints become swollen, red, warm, and tender due to the inflammatory response triggered by uric acid crystals. Limited mobility, during acute gout attacks, mobility can be severely restricted due to pain and swelling. Even after the acute phase, joint stiffness and discomfort may persist. Recurrent episodes, gout tends to occur in episodes or attacks, with periods of symptom-free intervals followed by flare-ups, which can disrupt daily activities and quality of life. Complications, if left untreated or poorly managed, gout can lead to complications such as joint damage, tophi, uric acid crystal deposits under the skin, and kidney stones, due to uric acid crystal formation in the kidneys. Hash emotional and psychological impact. Disruption of daily life, the unpredictable nature of gout attacks can cause anxiety and frustration, as it interferes with work, social activities, and hobbies. Quality of life, chronic gout can impact overall quality of life due to ongoing pain, mobility issues, and the need for continuous management and lifestyle modifications. Mental health, dealing with chronic pain and the uncertainty of when the next gout attack will occur can lead to stress, depression, and a sense of helplessness. Social impacts, gout attacks and mobility issues may affect social interactions and relationships, leading to social withdrawal or isolation. Hash Treatment and Management Effective management of gout involves a combination of medications to relieve acute symptoms and prevent future attacks, such as NSAIDs, colchicine, and urate-lowering drugs, lifestyle changes, dietary modifications, weight management, hydration, and addressing underlying health conditions that contribute to uric acid buildup. In summary, gout is not just a physical condition affecting joints, it can have profound effects on emotional well-being, daily functioning, and overall quality of life. Proper management and support are essential to minimize the impact of gout and improve overall health outcomes. But wait! Let's continue watching this video up to the end to understand this painful medical condition and how to treat or prevent this from flaring up. Overproduction of Uric Acid Genetic Predisposition Some individuals may have genetic factors that lead to increased production of uric acid. Enzyme Deficiencies Defects and enzymes involved in purine metabolism can result in higher uric acid production. Reduced excretion of uric acid Kidney dysfunction The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering and excreting uric acid from the body. Any impairment in kidney function can lead to decreased uric acid excretion, causing levels to rise. Medications Certain medications, such as diuretics, used to treat hypertension and heart failure, can reduce uric acid excretion and contribute to buildup. Dietary Factors High Purine Diet Foods rich in purines, for example, red meat, organ meats, seafood, and certain vegetables like spinach and asparagus, can increase uric acid production. Fructose High intake of fructose containing beverages, like sugary sodas, can also increase uric acid levels. Obesity Excess body weight is associated with increased production of uric acid and decreased excretion, contributing to higher levels. 
Alcohol consumption Alcohol, especially beer, increases uric acid production and impairs its excretion, leading to elevated levels. Metabolic syndrome Conditions such as hypertension, insulin resistance, and dyslipidemia, abnormal levels of lipids in the blood, are often associated with higher uric acid levels. Certain diseases, conditions like psoriasis, certain cancers, and hemolytic anemia can lead to increased uric acid production. Sudden onset of pain, typically affects one joint, often the big toe, which becomes swollen, red, warm, and extremely painful. Inflammation, joints may feel tender and inflamed, with limited range of motion. Recurrent attacks, episodes of gout can be sporadic, with periods of remission and flare-ups. Physical examination, doctors assess symptoms, joint appearance, and medical history. Blood tests, measure uric acid levels in the blood. Joint fluid analysis, to detect uric crystals and fluid extracted from affected joints. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs help relieve pain and inflammation during acute attacks. Colchicine, reduces inflammation and pain. Corticosteroids, used if NSAIDs and colchicine are ineffective or contraindicated. Urate lowering therapy, ULT, drugs like allopurinol or febuxostat help lower uric acid levels to prevent future attacks. Lifestyle changes, dietary modifications, limit intake of purine rich foods, for example, red meat, seafood, and alcohol. Hydration, drink plenty of fluids to help flush out uric acid. Weight management, maintain a healthy weight to reduce uric acid levels. Management of comorbidities, address underlying conditions like hypertension and diabetes, which can exacerbate gout. Joint damage, persistent gout can lead to joint deformities and loss of function. TOFI, deposits of urate crystals in tissues around joints, leading to nodules under the skin. Kidney stones, uric acid crystals can also form kidney stones. Medication adherence, take prescribed medications regularly to maintain lower uric acid levels. Managing gout involves a combination of medication, lifestyle changes, and monitoring to reduce the frequency of attacks and minimize long-term joint damage. Know yourself and prevent future attacks. Please support my channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below.